Hi guys, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to add a green screen to your PlayStation camera and share factory. Let's go ahead and jump into that video right now. All right, let's go ahead and add that uh, green screen to our track too. So you guys maybe know how to do this already, but go to X, the plus sign on the screen on the bottom left, and go to Add Track 2. This is where we can add our, our recording for audio, add clip, our video recording. So we can do that from here. First, we're wanna, uh, what we're going to want to do is to switch it from normal to green screen. So how do we do that? Press triangle on your, uh, your controller. And then from here, we can go ahead and press X. And you have the options for cutout, green screen, white screen. If you have a, a plain white screen, you can have a similar effect uh, as a green screen. Let's go ahead and use the green screen because that's what we have right now. So that's my camera. From here you can uh, adjust it in terms of your camera tuning, uh, the sharpness, saturation, hue, contrast. You can adjust it all from here. Uh, I can add my contrast a little bit. That looks a little bit better, guys, huh? I don't want to go up with saturation because my lighting, the lighting has to be like perfect with the PlayStation camera, it seems like. It's got to be directly at you. With the the uh, PC camera, as you can see this guy's face right here, doesn't need to be nearly as uh, as bright, which is helpful. But uh, my settings are cutting out everything in the background. That's what I want. Also, from here, you can add uh, a different tolerance level to adjust it even further, and then feathering around the edges. If uh, your cutout isn't exactly the way you want it in terms of like the sidings and stuff, you see it's getting a little bit blurred. It's getting faded out here on the sides. This, these are actually green headsets, so uh, this might get cut out here too if I adjust everything further enough. So go to, go to here, your tolerance level, if you bring all the way down, your green screen comes back. So you can adjust your tolerance to further uh, um, facilitate your green screen in the background and get it exactly how you want to get that cut out perfect so make sure you go to green screen on your menu here otherwise it's not going to cut that out uh, also pan and zoom and you can pan out from here you can see my background here is all checkered and that <laughs> and then you can see part of my house so let's go ahead and zoom in right up on my mug perfect guys right isn't that good so there we go. We added that green screen. Let's go ahead and just record to see how it looks. And then I'm going to add it over my gameplay. Now, uh, if you have ever streamed from your PlayStation camera, this is a, a, a little bit different view than you normally would get for some reason. It's much wider than your uh, PlayStation screen, uh, streaming camera. Your streaming camera is only like a box, right? It's only a square. This one is a much wider rectangle for some reason. So this is some of the gameplay I had where I was playing uh, Blackout. Ended up getting the win right here. Uh, there was some invisible guy under the water for some reason. I didn't know where he was, but uh, I'm just freaking out right now. That's not relevant. However, adding a green screen is. So let's go ahead and look at that cutout. Reason. So this is some of the gameplay I had where I was playing uh, Blackout. End up getting the win right here. Uh, there's some invisible. Yeah, so that's the cutout right now. We can make it a little bit bigger so you can see everything. There, so. I mean, it doesn't look that bad once you get the, the coloring right. I say maybe my place, uh, my PC camera is not perfect in terms of coloring. Looks like my face is very, very tan. I'm not that tan, guys. Live in Wisconsin. <laughs> so from here on out, we can uh, adjust where we want the picture. So go to square. The, the tool symbol. Go to edit track 2, my man. And go ahead and go to square again, the tool again. And we can change the layout where we want it. If we want our cutout to be full screen, we can go ahead and do that. So let's look at that full screen. Some invisible, invisible guy under the water for some reason. I didn't know where he was, but I'm um, just free. Yeah, so you can change where you have it in terms of your layout. Go back to Edit Track 2. Go back to your tool. Once you back out here, um, bottom right, bottom left, top left, center, swivel. Uh, how well would the swivel look? I'm curious because, oh, I'm freaking out right now. Yeah, there's a swivel. All right, so let's go ahead and edit Track 2. I want to try one more of those uh, for the PIP. 
Let's go offset because the offset. No, let's go by side by side. I think it just has a just plain yeah PlayStation background. So this is some gameplay I had where I was playing huh. uh, Blackout. Okay, so that's how it kind of gets cut out. Edit track two again, but you can still adjust some stuff after you've recorded everything. As you can see, uh, if you don't want that green screen, you can cut it out right here. Just go to normal again by pressing X and going to you know, this option menu again. Uh, what we did at the beginning of the video. Otherwise, you can just go to cut out. Let's go back to green screen. And uh, go to the tool again. Pan and zoom. You can pan and zoom from this option too after you record the video. Uh, see, <clears throat> you can go to setting. You can adjust your tolerance level and feathering still a little bit more after. And also, you can change your backdrop. This is kind of interesting. So, let's see. Uh, okay, so... You saw that picture when I did that thing before. Let's go back to the backdrop. Uh, delete my backdrop. I just accidentally added one. So <clears throat> you have some pictures, right, that you guys, you know, saved throughout your history of using a PlayStation. And, you know, I think every time you get, like, an achievement, it saves. So you can add random stuff like that to your background. So you know, let's, let's add some random clip I have here. Thought I saw me. No, I didn't. Uh, victory! Where's a Fortnite clip? Who's this guy's face? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let's go to my posse in Fortnite. So there we go. I can add that as my background. So maybe I have my full face, kind of like I'm doing now. I got the full face on there. And then I have, you know, something in the background. So kind of like I did for my intro. Uh, for this uh, video you can do that on here on your PlayStation by messing around with your PIP options your layout for that and then adding a different background or adding a different gameplay if you want your full screen uh, face up here like I'm doing now and then adding gameplay in the background or just a solid picture so you can adjust everything kind of the way you want it kind of like you can on the place I mean on the PC which is very um, convenient and nice and I applaud Sony for adding that. Thank you guys for watching how to add a green screen to your face cam on your Share Factory video editor on PlayStation. This is Tim. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you, go ahead and leave me a like and thumbs up. And that would help out my channel quite a bit. Once again, thank you. Signing out.